taking like eight takes. So. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, thanks to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm trying to build the channel up. I keep saying that, but just need a little bit of help, guys. So a couple days ago, I made a video on some tail light lenses for 93 Cobra. Told you I was working on an F-350 for my son. So he ordered this truck, I think about a month ago. It came in. Um, he had a new baby coming up here two weeks ago, picked the truck up. We did a few modifications to the truck. I'm going to do a quick walk around with him. We're going to tell you what we did to the truck. Uh, if you want to check out the thumbnail picture really close, uh, the truck is a 2021 Velocity Blue STX. Uh, we special ordered the truck the way he wanted it. Um, not He didn't want to spend $90,000 on a truck and then still have to build it the way he wanted it. So he ordered an inexpensive dually and built it the way he wanted it. So uh, I'll introduce him real quick. You want to walk over here? It's my son, Brandon. Yeah. How, How you doing? Brandon. Want to tell us about the truck a little bit? Yeah, so like you said before, it's a 2021 F350 Dually. Uh, special ordered it, ordered it in Velocity Blue, uh, which is going to be the last year for this color. It's only a two-year color, 2020 and 2021, so it should be a pretty rare truck. Uh, so if you guys want to walk over towards it, we'll kind of show you a little bit about it. So we'll go check the truck out. Let us know what you think. So we'll walk off, sit back in the truck. Pretty bad, I think. Looks pretty mean. So the wheels, you can tell us about the wheels that you got going on here. Yeah, so I ordered these from a company called Kingpin Auto Sports down in Louisiana. Yeah, they basically sent us everything to basically bolt it on the truck. Uh, they're actually 24 and a half inch semi truck wheels cut down to a 24 inch to accept a regular 24 inch tire. They got uh, 37, 13, 50, 24 inch tires on there. Um, the only thing that we had to do suspension wise to the front is do a ready lift two and a half inch level kit. And that just went on, bolted on super easy. We didn't have to do any trimming. It didn't rub anywhere. Everything clears fine. Rides pretty good. So the truck, we did some paint work on the truck. Well, not the truck itself. Uh, the truck, again, if you check out the thumbnail, it came in with chrome bumpers. Uh, the F350 dually, you can't order in an STX package with painted bumpers. So we painted the bumpers to match the truck. We also painted the mirror caps. We did the door handles. Now the door handles he ordered aftermarket because uh, the Ford door handles do not have the chrome covers on them and he wanted the chrome because we did that on the tailgate as well. We'll show you that. We also did, he ordered the chrome running boards. It originally had the black ones on it, right? Yep black running board so that worked out because the original running boards i think he sold for half of what he paid for these and uh, so he's only in the chrome runner boards a couple hundred bucks so i had the window tent done local one of his local tent shops here inside the truck it is an stx so the stx if you guys know about those trucks they're cloth interior so we did also Leather cat skin seat covers. Now this, this video is not sponsored by anybody. So if anybody wants to sponsor this channel to help us out with our builds, you know, let me know. We also swapped out the steering wheel for a Ford platinum steering wheel, leather wrap. We did a little custom touches on the door handle. I wasn't quite sure about that, but that's something he wanted to do. Looks pretty cool after it was done, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Turned out nice. So check out the back seat here. Also, like I said, we did all the the interior and the cat skin leather it's custom most people that do the cat skins do one solid color we had these done in the two-tone light gray with charcoal accents looks pretty pretty awesome i think goes well with the two-tone interior so like i said my son ordered this truck he's been in the air force for what six years now seven yeah about seven years so this is all him i didn't have anything to do with this truck except for Help put it together a little paint work again we painted the bumpers on the truck the rear bumper is kind of a pain both of them are a little bit of a pain but the rear is worse it's not a full bumper it comes apart it's actually two or three four pieces so that was that's kind of time consuming so this is the handle i don't know if you guys get behind any f-350s they don't paint this part right here that goes around the, the camera it's black on all the trucks we painted that to match the truck too just a nice little touch Inside the bed, you can flip that up. It's already unlocked. So that tonneau cover, 
is a factory option from Ford. He installed the bed rug himself. You got, I think he got that off eBay. Turned out pretty good. Now this truck does have a fifth wheel. Uh, the, on the F-350 bed rugs, it's a little bit thicker. It gives you more support on some of the bed rugs. It's more cloth like the sides. But this one having the fifth wheel, they give you an option to order a little bit thicker padding. So if you want to cut around your fifth wheel hitch, Listen, that's the factory cover from Ford. It's yeah. an option you can get on their Ford accessories when you order a new truck. It actually has a, a Ford logo embossed. Oh yeah, it's the, got a pretty the bed cover here. Pretty cool Ford logo there. Looks pretty cool. So again, I was I was kind of skeptical when we went. He wanted to put these these big old wheels on there. But as far as the truck goes, it makes plenty of power to turn them. I think it's what, 475 horse? Yeah, 475 horsepower and 1050 torque is what they rate them at for 2021. And that that's a lot of Eagle power right there. What do you guys think? So I just want to give you guys a quick update on the truck. On what we did. Like I said, we did painted the bumpers, smear caps, door handles. Also did the window trim. Here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He added the, here. the chrome uh, lariat trim. Uh, your STX comes with plain black trim up here. And I'll tell you those, if you don't have a buddy that works at the parts department, those are very expensive. So we're kind of lucky. We got a friend here local that works at the parts department. He gives us pretty good pricing on all our parts that we buy from them. Again, just some more interior shots from the cat skin seats. Matches pretty good. We are going to replace the centerpiece right here. Uh, I was looking on my 2019 F-150. The cell phone area is cut out where your phone actually fits and it's exactly the same dimensions. Uh, so we got one of those coming in and it's also gonna be black so it'll match the seat. It's not here yet, it's supposed to be here on Tuesday. So other than that, the truck's pretty much done. Yeah, we also painted these, these pillow Oh yeah, posts. forgot about that. Our so ABS plastic, like the mirrors are from the factory. So we sanded those down and painted them gloss black. You can order gloss black ones from Ford. However, on the driver's side, you can't order the gloss black ones without the keyless entry touchpad, and this truck didn't come with that. So we had to custom make those how we wanted them. So the only thing we got left that's, that's supposed to be here, uh, we didn't get the steering stabilizer kit isn't in yet. It's supposed to be here Tuesday morning. Uh, we've had the truck out on the interstate. It rides surprisingly really well uh, for the for the tires that are on it, aggressive a tread pattern as they have. I think the only thing that you could probably make smoother is go with more of a road tread pattern if somebody wants to do, you know, a kit like this. Uh, this is my first, I wouldn't say truck build. Uh, I've never done a truck or put one together. Uh, it turned out really well, I think. I think it looks amazing. I don't like when people use the word amazing way too much in their videos or it's mint or stuff like that. But I think the truck looks really well. So that's just a quick walk around of this truck. Uh, again, again, thank you guys that have subscribed. If you haven't, you know, if you watch this video, I'm gonna try to do more stuff like this. Uh, just wanna give my son a thanks for letting me try to put this truck together for him. I guess he could have took it and had it done somewhere else. But we did it in two weeks. All the interior, painted the bumpers, all the suspension, you know, all that stuff was done, you know, at the house and the garage. So. If you guys got any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to put some descriptions or links in the comment section below where he got the parts, the wheels, the lift kit, and, you know, the seat covers. Maybe if you guys want to do some custom work to your truck. I know this is a Mustang channel, but I'm just trying to do something different. There's a lot of Mustang channels out there, and, you know, it's we all talk about the same stuff. So I'm just trying to branch out a little bit and grow my channel and get in and do some other stuff. So, again, thanks for my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, again, thank you for letting me uh, build the truck. And uh, you guys have a good day.